Hello and welcome to the first series of videos converting Tronx CX 5 SA to a decent printer. As you can see, I have my build in a working state. It is far from complete, but I am really impatient, so I wanted to have a working printer fast and work my way afterwards. There is a couple of things to note at the beginning of the series. First of all, why have I decided to name my printer Radbot while it's in the current state is practically Visibot? Well, the answer is simple. I do plan on experimenting on it with some wacky solutions that may come in the future. I do plan on machining my own custom hotend as well as replacing 3D printed parts with a remixed or even remade variations with a combination of aluminium and plastic. So at some point it won't really be VisiBot. At least not a version that you can do it yourself or buy. I am yet unsure if I will release CAD files or not, as lots will depend on licensing. Originally I have planned to use some solution from the rhetoric with my own twist, such as print head and kinematic bed with three independent motors, but I am yet unsure if I will stick to the plan. Second thing that is more a disclaimer that I'll need to point out because possible laugh implications. Do not attempt to build it yourself unless you are trained or have the skills as this build deals with a high voltage that has potential to kill you. Now some backstory. The only reason I have decided to build this printer is simple. It is probably the best project in terms of price versus performance and this is simply because you can get X5SA from Amazon Returns for around $120. All you have to do is to email Tronxy support and ask if they have some returns in stock. I have heard that they do not always respond so you will have to keep trying. Why is it such a great deal? Well, you won't get all the parts such as extrusions, smooth rods, lead screws, stepper motors, power supply, heated bed and motherboard for $120. So all things considered, it is basically one of a third of a market price. After doing some calculations, I figured out I can make it work in just under $350 which is ridiculously cheap for a Core XY printer of that size. Not to mention it includes linear rails, which were probably the most expensive part of this build. Keep in mind that price may vary depending on your location and my calculations do not cover parts that I already have, such as single board computer for clipper and BQH2V2, which is just the print head of my choice. But you are not forced to use Clipper, it is possible to use Marlin instead and just not have an external computer connected to it. Same goes for the printhead. Stock extruders should work. But enough of this nonsense and let's get started. Very first thing I would like to explain are which parts you really need as I have found the bill of material a bit confusing. And this will be the focus of this video. If you already figured out BOM, simply skip this video altogether. BOM can be found on the official VisiBot repository, but I will link it in the description below. So let's get started. Category Frame Profiles All you really need is 4 extrusions. 2 of a length 390 mm and two of a length 260 mm. Those three parts here labeled as necessary by aren't necessary despite being labeled so. You may want to order one more extrusion but I will get to that later. Electronics. Now this is a bit sketchy part because you don't really need anything from that list. However, this assumes that motherboard and other electronics that came from the Amazon returns are working. 
If you do not wish to take your chances, get one of these boards listed here or use any semi-modern 3D printer motherboard with at least 5 motor drivers. Second thing that you may wish to buy is if you decide to build a VZBot printhead. It's this NEMA Pancake Extruder Motor and 5015 blower fan, but I do not recommend getting 12 volt version. Get a proper 24 volt fan as printer will be running on 24 volts. Gantry. Necessary parts here are 6 idler pulleys, 20 tooth for 6 mm belt with a height of 8.5 mm, 2 idler pulleys, no teeth for 6 mm belt with a height of 8.5 mm. 5 meters of GT2 belt reinforced with glass fiber. 2 rails of MGN12H of a length 400 mm or compatible. I have Bobo rails. Yes, they are really named Bobo and have different part number, but they are equivalent of MGN. 1 rail of MGN9H of a length 400 or compatible. Once again, I have a bobo rail. Now, here is where things get interesting. You will need something for the gantry bar. Carbon tube is probably the best option, but I have cut Tronxy gantry bar to the length of 440 mm and it's working. So, this is the cheapest option. Another option is a simple aluminum profile of a size 20x20mm, 20 20 mm, but this one will require some drilling. I will be getting carbon tube later on. Printhead. You don't need anything from this list, but if you wish to make another printhead, buy BMG hardware kit or entire BMG extruder that will allow you to fit hex through door. Bed assembly. Again. There is really nothing necessary here with a big asterisk. I did not receive any print surfers from Amazon Returns, so I am using my Sovol Pay taped with some Captain tape. It is pretty bad solution, so I am not going to recommend it if you did not receive a print surface as well. I will be buying Pape Spring Steel in the future. Another thing to mention here is that the trunk C plate is bent. So this is why aluminium bed is listed here as necessary. While it's not really mandatory, it's highly recommended, so I will be milling my own. Z-axis assembly. Absolutely nothing necessary. Especially not lead screws, but then again, this assumes that you have received your lead screws and smooth rods, and they are in a good shape. Hardware. You will need a lot of T-nuts of a size M4. I would recommend getting at least 200. And about 40 or more T-nuts of a size M3. This is the only hardware that is not easy to find locally, so I am not going to mention right now screws, but I will get to that in later videos. MISC this is only for the cosmetic and filtering system, which I do not recommend buying before assembling whole printer. When it comes to a print head, there are pretty much infinite choices, but most of them requires redesigning parts, so I would suggest to join VZBot Discord and see the community mods section. Perhaps there was someone who already made it. If not, you may want to consider building Hextrudor. And lastly, make sure that there are no visible damage on components you have received from Amazon Returns. For example, if you see a bent extrusion, add it to a shopping list. Same goes for stepper motors, smooth rods, lead screws, etc. You may also need a bit of cables and connectors to connect everything together, but you will know that after assembly. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the first video. Next video will be about printed parts.